Richard, I'm going to let you say some nice words about Steven Soderbergh because I know you're a fan. Um, I am, on the whole, a fan. He's made some real stinkers over the years. He's been f making films for 20 years, a very, you know, very intrepidly, just like a lot of work. Um, and, and a few of them have been quite let, you know, they've been serious letdowns. Mm -hmm. um, he's, uh, he's no longer the young wonder kind. He's like, you know, it's, it's going to be 20 years since uh, Sex, Lies, and Videotape came out in a couple of years. Um, and I think at the same time, he's, uh, he's refined the craft of small camera aesthetics in a way that when you compare him to somebody as much heralded as, say, oh, Michael Winterbottom, mm -hmm. you, you can compare the visual styles of the two. And uh, on the one hand, there's this, this great relaxation and confidence and sense of color, and on the other, this really frantic and hectic uh, filmmaking that leaves you where you don't know what you're, what you're seeing anymore. I think his, uh, the problem of color with a small camera is one that, that people just aren't addressing. In, mm -hmm. in like digital, in the digital film so much. Um, and Soderbergh has really kind of mastered it, the shades of color in, um, in something like Out of Sight, which is a movie I love. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really one of the best. We'll be seeing some of Out of yeah. Sight later. Oh, excellent, great. Um, and he's, he's like, you know, diligently pulled the trough for the, Ocean, the Ocean's uh, Eleven franchise. Well, you tell me what you think. You're not, you're not a fan. I'm, I'm not a fan of Soderbergh. Uh -huh. yeah. um, and it's very interesting to look back because I was one of those people who saw Sex, Lies, and Videotape mm -hmm. in 1989, which catapulted him. Right. into being called a major director. Right. And um, uh, I thought it was a wonderful film mm -hmm. and really explored things that the popular cinema was not looking at. Right. Um, um, he then went on to do a film called Kafka, which was a very surrealistic look at Franz Kafka's um, possible yeah. life. Yeah. Uh, imagine life. It's a it's fantasy. Great it's, got no, it's, got it's, it's a fantasy. And, yeah. and it, it was good. There's good stuff um, in it. It was very, very different. And yeah. um, then he went on to a film called King of the Hill, which portrayed a boyhood in the 1930s mm -hmm. um, um, in, in, the, in the South, as I remember. Um, very sensitively done, beautifully shot to color, magnificent. Yeah. Um, but well, the reason I, I say these films, which everyone should go see, is that they were very different, and it seemed to me over the years that yeah. Soderbergh was looking for his niche, right. or niche, as the British say. Right, right. And what it finally came down to was the socially um, significant crime film. And um, uh, he did such films all in a row as The Limey, Aaron Brockovich. If you think of Eric and Brockovich, uh, could count, it could qualify as the kind of film you're describing. Yeah, yeah. and he, he did it beautifully. Yeah. Um, um, uh, he did The Limey, which I liked very, very much, mm -hmm. um, with Terrence um, Stamp, and just really used him brilliantly in the film. Right. Um, and then he went on from there to Out of Sight, which I know is a film of yours, and he's just now immersed himself in the crime film. Yeah. Um, and took over the Ocean's Eleven uh, franchise, as you said. I think, you see, that he is now just opting to tell stories, and, and very easy ones, and he's not going as deeply as he has gone before. Well, after working on something as <coughs> complex as Traffic, for example, you, mm -hmm. you, can, you, know, you, can, you can see why he's like going for the simple stuff. Yeah, but well, Traffic, which failed for me. Yeah, and which, yeah. I, which but it succeeded for a lot of other people, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of his methods are, are adapted at this point. Mm -hmm. people, it's, it's amazing, his influence is so broad, it's not mm -hmm. really noticed. Mm -hmm. I think it's really the, the truth with Soderbergh. And uh, I think that it's, it's actually in the coming years we'll be able to look back and understand the certain things that he did that were adopted by just everybody. Mm -hmm. And especially as they're moving towards, like I say, the smaller, more portable hit and run camera. Right. He's still very good at it. And the, the stuff in Ocean's 13, we'll talk about in a minute, um, that, that kind of simplicity and confidence that seems to be so missing from a lot of, a lot of film, especially now. Well, we will look at that. And I want to say your camera comment um, is because he is also a cinematographer. Yeah, exactly. And a good one, that, too. And that's yeah. a very good one. And that is important.